<laughs> Yo guys, welcome back to another video. And in this series of videos, I talk about some of the features on the Freelander 2 and Skoda Yeti. And in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about the electric water pump on the Freelander 2s. So let's get into it. You might be thinking after that intro, electric water pump, Scott, aren't you confused? Isn't the water pump driven by a belt and belt driven? Well, yeah, you'd be right. But I'm not on about this water pump. I'm talking about the electric water pump that's located somewhere deep down in here somewhere that got fitted to the Freelander 2s with stop start on it. You see, one of the flaws with the stop start system on the Freelander 2 was the fact that when the engine turned off to save fuel and reduce emissions, it also stopped the coolant from circulating around the engine. And for those of you that aren't into their cars, the coolant is what provides you with heat inside the cabin because the coolant flows through the heater matrix, air blows on that, and then that blows through to the cabin to keep you all nice, nice and toasty warm inside. So as soon as the engine switches off, the coolant stops circulating, the cold air blasts on the coolant that sat there, that then reduces in temperature, and obviously quickly inside the cabin, you get a lot of cool air, and you probably also get a bit of condensation and God knows what else build up inside the cabin, which is less than ideal when you're driving. So to combat this issue, Land Rover fitted a little electric pump within the cooling system, and the whole job of it is just to keep the coolant circulating around the car so at least then in the heater matrix it's getting lovely toasty warm coolant put through it so it keeps the temperature inside the cabin nice and warm even when the engine is turned off in a stop start situation another nifty feature about the electric coolant pump on freelander 2s with stop start on it is it allows the engine to stay off for longer and i'm sure you've already worked this out but when it comes to freelander 2s that have stop start on them there's all sorts of parameters all over the car which dictate when the engine can shut down and when it has to start back up again and one of them parameters is going to be the interior cabin temperature you see, it's only got to drop by a couple of degrees or so. So if you were to take that electric coolant pump out of the system, that's quickly going to happen. So it means as soon as the engine shuts down, within a probably about 30 seconds, maybe even less than that, the temperature is quickly going to drop and it's going to force the engine to start back up again. That then kind of enters an endless loop, which kind of makes the stop start system a bit redundant. So obviously by fitting this electric coolant pump, it allows the engine to stay off for longer. Another real smart feature about the electric coolant pump is that Land Rover have managed to time it that it switches on when the engine is switching off and then on the flip side when the engine is starting back up on that starting phase it then chooses that moment to switch back off again and why is that smart? Well you never actually hear this coolant pump working at all you don't hear it start you don't hear it stop and you don't hear it in operation but it's probably just me that finds that really smart and clever. Thanks for taking the time of watching this video. If you want to subscribe to the channel, click over here. If you want to see another video like this, click over here. Thanks everyone.